Breaking free of the online community doom loop. This is the topic of our conversation today. Hi, my name is Todd Nielsen. I am the founder of Clock Tower Advisors, an online community consultancy that helps organizations worldwide come up with meaningful, thriving community strategies to build greater connections with customers, with partners, with employees, and to help them to create more beautifully, more joyfully, and in a more connected way uh, with others. I am working with many different kinds of online communities on a day-to-day, year-to-year basis. And one of the problems that I run into on occasion with an online community is one that has gone dormant or it's, it's gone into a stagnation loop. And it's almost a downward spiral of activity over time that um, it doesn't, it, it's not going to pull out just on its own. What are the signs of a doom loop in your online community? Well, um, they may be related to some social uh, approaches. They may be related to your platform itself. Uh, a couple of the factors that are contributing to a doom loop could be a breach of trust, um, either between yourself and the people who are part of your community, um, or between the members themselves. They no longer trust each other or the inherent benevolence of each other. Um, and so it has undermined their willingness to contribute actively to the space. It might be that the platform has deteriorated. Uh, in other words, the user experience of using the platform has gotten worse. Maybe you've made some recent changes to the platform, or maybe you've migrated to an entirely new platform. And for whatever reasons, members didn't take to it. They didn't like it, and usage of your platform has really dropped off. Maybe it has to do with the lack of innovation or stagnation. If you've been managing your community for a period of years, it's so easy to fall into this pattern. You are managing the community as usual because it's always run pretty well that way, but suddenly all the things that you used to be doing are no longer working like you expected them to. You are in a doom loop. Finally, it might be that your members' interests or attention have shifted. Maybe they're going over to a competing community that offers something similar. Maybe the original problem that brought people together into your community environment has changed significantly and their interests and needs have changed, the people that have, that have been part of your community for so long. It's time to rethink. So what are some signs of being in a doom spiral in your community? Well, there are a few to think about. First of all, a slowing up or a stopping of your community growth uh, is probably a good sign. If you don't see the signups that you used to see, it might be that you've met your maximum possible audience uh, that you can have in the community, although I doubt it. It's much more likely that for whatever reason, the community uh, purpose has no longer maintained its appeal um, to others to get them to, to join. Another factor would be that there's been a slowdown in community participation and posts. Uh, what has previously been a fairly active community has suddenly slowed up or stopped entirely. Another sign that you might be in a doom loop is if there's a sudden reticence to respond or reply to posts that maybe previously got a lot of activity and attention. If your members no longer feel safe posting with each other, um, that may be a sign that you're, in a, that you're in a little bit of trouble. Fights or complaints in the platform could also be a sign that you're in a doom loop. If you have people uh, who have come into the space and are more combative, they're more frustrated, you're dealing with a lot more moderation issues, uh, a lot more reports of abuse, that may be a sign that you are heading in a bad direction with your community. And finally, apathy about once popular topics. If uh, despite your best efforts, despite having an amazing lineup of events, despite having contests that have always worked in the past, um, you're just not getting people participating. There's maybe something wrong that you need to address. There's a deeper root cause to, to look at. So once you've recognized that you've got a problem, once the patient knows that he's sick, um, what can be done to address it? Well, there's a couple of things for us to think about. Let's go through them one by one. First and foremost, uh, if you're seeing that your community seems to be going in a wrong direction, if you are in a doom loop, you need to take immediate steps to rebuild transparency and trust. You need to be talking to your members about what the original purpose of the platform was, what the spirit of it needs to be. 
it's time to remind them of why they came in the first place. And part of this may be reminding them why they shared like interests with other people in the community. A part of this is almost by necessity going to have to involve uh, reaching out to and having one-on-one -on -one chats and discussions with members of your community. Start with some of the key members of your community, people who've been friendly um, to you before, um, to understand maybe what's been happening with them and with their lives. Maybe they haven't been as active as they had been, but it's an opportunity to reaffirm with them uh, what you think the purpose of the community is and what you think it should be doing, but then also to get recommendations for other people to talk to. In the meantime, continue to be reaching out to members of the community who you think are uh, going to have some insights. Um, talk to some newcomers to the community. What's their perception when they come in? What do they think they're gonna get out of being here? And if they're not getting those things, um, how can you give it to them? Um, what about the people who've been in the community for a long time? Maybe they're bored. Maybe they don't see any more challenges. Maybe they don't see a way to give back and help. Being able to talk to these individuals, uh, maybe interview between at least 15 or so uh, members of the community will start to give you a lock on what's going on with what your members need and what they want. And will maybe allow you to address those questions of transparency and start to rebuild trust. Related to that, you need to be able to start fostering trust between members. If members haven't been talking to each other, if they've been hesitant to post, if they're not replying because they're afraid they're gonna be attacked by somebody else, it's maybe time to clear the air with a community-led event uh, where you maybe have one or more members of the community come in uh, to an office hour, or you bring a couple of people together who've maybe um, had difficulties with each other and try to mediate um, some conversation between them, try to find some common ground or to find ways to build trust again uh, without trying to create some of these bridges uh, between people that probably already have some things in common with each other, uh, you're gonna to continue to struggle to get people to feel safe about posting in the community. If you can take on the most difficult 10% of your members who are maybe at odds with each other, you can maybe turn things around. Another thing that you can try is to start to inject new life into the community. It is so easy to fall into this pattern of community management as usual. Business as usual does not involve innovation. Uh, and if you are struggling uh, to just keep up with the day-to-day, -day, it makes it difficult to pull yourself, up, pull yourself up out of that and to adopt an innovation mindset. However, this is what you must do. So either find someone who is a, you know, a junior or an intern who, can, who you can give uh, some of those other duties to until you can start looking at your programs and start to innovate. If there's a program that you've had on the shelf for the past six months and you've done nothing with, maybe it's time to dust it off and give it a try. Maybe it's time to be a little bolder in your approach because what will happen is a slow death of that community if you do not try something that is new. If you do not start taking some chances, the community is just gonna to continue to devolve until you have nobody there. And then you'd be in a position of having to restart a brand new community. When you start thinking about these programs, you need to find ways to excite your members about it. Um, maybe pitch some of your key influencers in the community to get their buy-in, to get them to be willing to jump in and, and talk. If you have a champions program where you've got some super users or you have some influential members, um, getting them on board with what you're planning to do as a new contest, as a new event, uh, and or, or a new discussion topic is gonna be so important to your success. So you need to bring in your willing accomplices uh, to make this happen. Finally, a way to address that doom loop is to start evolving your understanding of the members' needs in the community. Again, going back to those one-on-one -on -one meetings or even group meetings to understand what the community cares about. You know, look at the external marketplace. Uh, have you done a recent audit of your community comparing it to others within your space? Are the things that you're doing in your community as relevant as what maybe some of your direct competitors are doing if they happen to have communities. Look at adjacent examples of communities. Who is doing really cool stuff? It's important for you to poke your head up out of your community from time to time and see what other people are doing. Go on LinkedIn. There's a vibrant community of community professionals out there who are always talking about the kinds of things that they're working on or they're, or they're trying to do. If you join any of a number of Slack channels like Led by Community or CMX or CLI, um, there are many people who are willing to offer their ideas and suggestions to you for building your community. 
And if you are in a place where you're stuck, you can always think of reaching out to a community consultant who has, uh, like we are here at Clock Tower Advisors, dealt with dozens of online communities and maybe have some perspective or some ideas to offer you that maybe you haven't thought of before. Once you have started looking at the purpose of your community and what other communities are maybe doing by comparison, doing a little bit of benchmarking, it may be time to readjust or realign the purpose of your community so that it fits a lot better. So in conclusion, it may be time if you start to see the signs of a doom loop in your community to revisit, revitalize, and re-energize the kinds of things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis to get the community up and running and producing the kinds of outcomes that you're hoping to create. If you think about the kinds of behaviors that you want to see in the community, the kinds of contributions you'd like to see the members of your community making, if you're trying to think of the business outcomes that you need, it may be that you're at a point where you need to reevaluate the overall purpose of the community to begin with, and then start building your tactics out from there um, to be able to reignite some of the things that were previously making your community so great. I'd love to know some things that you've tried. If you've turned around your community from a doom loop, please tell us about it in the, in the uh, comments. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and comment. I try to respond to everything that shows up on the channel here. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Clock Tower Advisors channel. We talk about all kinds of community topics here. We have live streams every other week that are, go up on LinkedIn and they're cross-posted here to the YouTube community. And there's a great back catalog of interviews that you can check out here as well. Hopefully you find some inspiration. And in the meantime, be well and build great communities.